Happy birthday to Ricky Matherson, to Brenda Walton, and Reverend Andre Cheeks celebrating birthdays this weekend. A nice weekend for your weather forecast with sunshine all the way through Tuesday with highs uh, in the 50s to near 60 degrees and lows in the 30s to near 40 degrees. In area news, after more than two decades of protesting his innocence from Alabama's death row, William Kinzel and his attorneys will finally get to make their argument before the state's Court of Criminal Appeals. The court announced earlier this week that it had scheduled oral arguments in the case for April the 7th at 9 a.m. That's the good news. The bad news for Kinzel is that right before Christmas, the state Supreme Court voted 8 to 1 to set an execution date. According to that, Kinzel will be put to death by lethal injection on March 19th. Kinzel's appeal has already been pending for some time before it was granted. According to David Kochman, one of the attorneys handling Kinzel's appeals, the state filed its opposition to the appeal and request for execution date on the same day. Now, whether uh, whichever way the state court of appeals ultimately rules, Kochman said the side that does not prevail will almost certainly appeal to the state Supreme Court. During his appeal, Kinzel's lawyers have argued that it was actually his roommate, Harvey Venn, who committed the murder of a convenience store clerk, Linda Alford, in Sylacauga during a botched robbery in 1987. Venn uh, pleaded guilty to a lesser charge and testified against Kinzel at his initial trial. The appeals team has called into question other witness statements as well. A Talladega man was arrested uh, this week uh, on felony drug charges after acting suspiciously in a parking lot, according to Talladega PD reports. Jason McCoy Horn, age 38, was charged with one count each of possession of a controlled substance, methamphetamine, and possession of drug paraphernalia. A Talladega woman was arrested in the same time, but had only been charged with misdemeanor offenses. Horn had an initial court appearance before District Judge Jeff Fannin, who set bond at $10,000 according to Talladega County Drug and Violent Crime Task Force Commander uh, just Jason Murray. And finally, recently hired Talladega County Administrator Pat Lyle is a defendant in a federal lawsuit alleging financial improprieties in the estate of her late mother. Accusations Lyle characterized, quote, as false yesterday. Lyle also confirmed that she did not disclose the suit to Talladega County commissioners during the interview process. Now, Lyle, who officially began her duties as county administrator January the 7th, said uh, on Wednesday that she would inform the commissioners of the legal matter. Now, the suit filed in the United States District Court of the Northern District of Alabama Southern Division by Lyle's stepbrother, Alan Hammock, and an heir and personal representative of the estate of Carol Hammock, seeks compensatory and punitive damages against Lyle named in the lawsuit as Patricia Crook Westbrook that for the alleged actions of breach of fiduciary duty, conversion and unjust enrichment and receipt of mistaken payments of assets of the estate. A separate hearing was held in Jefferson County Probate Judge before uh, Judge Sherry Friday yesterday and according to Lyle's attorney Frank Russo, a written decision is pending. That is a look at area birthdays, weather, and news reporting for Daybreak Online. I'm Jim L. Abrams.